for another. We have Livy and Chrissy, who won bronze at the 2014 Radio Academy Awards. They produce and present their own weekly women's magazine show on BBC Radio Bristol. Now, as I'll explain in a moment, to them the future of radio is very much there for the taking for women of a certain age. So let's give them a warm welcome and hear an alternative peek into our audio destiny from Livy and Chrissy. Hi, I'm Libby. And I'm Chrissy. Now, would you find men at a Sam Man's conference talking about the future of being an older man in audio? Well, definitely not. You wouldn't, would you? We, nope. we, we nope. think not. So we actually refute the idea of ageism of women in radio. You know, you need women like us. We're trailblazing for you younger women to have a job over the age of 40 because we need to be represented onwards and onwards and onwards. Don't you think? <laughs> Having said that, women of a certain age do bring a lot to the table. Feeling the fear and doing it anyway? Well, or being terrified of not being irreverent, bringing depth, sexy, sassy. Or a 13 months corner, not afraid to be yourself and building great relationships. Well, what's been interesting about Chrissy and our relationship, my relationship with her, is that, you know, we used to get offended. You know, we would banter, really risky banter on our show. But we don't anymore. Mm. She knows. She tolerates it. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks I do. No, it is. It breaks the... No, we, our, our banter is, is, is a bit risque, but it does break the tension um, in an interview when it gets too intense. And it can bring home a point. Humour is always a brilliant way of bringing home a point. And also to add to this stew and soup is cheek and determination. We find this is imperative, meeting controllers, editors, journalists, producers, even guests. We keep to our point like dogs with a bone until we get the answer that, well, hopefully get the answer anyway, that we want. Well, we want yes. We yes. always want yes. <laughs> we were told our sort of show, Light Entertainment, wasn't suitable to interview top politicians. You know, we were a bit too pink and fluffy. Yet after some lengthy, and I mean lengthy, lengthy, mm -hmm. argy-bargy, <laughs> dog with bones, I'm sure you know this, <laughs> interviewed Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg, Right Honourable Ed Miliband, and unfortunately our interview with the Prime Minister got cancelled due to the fact that there's a crisis in the country. Just about good enough reason to cancel with us, we thought. But more importantly, we believe that older women, women of a certain age in light entertainment, can bring depth and also, may again, make a point. So, does age give you more determination? Well, it does for us. The jury's out for you, maybe. You need to think about it. What we found entering media, and we've only entered media in the last five years, we both had previous careers, mine in psychotherapy for 25 years, mine in IT for 20 years, and what we find is that we don't even get pressed, we don't get impressed that easily. But I mean, we're not impressed that much, and it makes it much easier to build a good rapport. And get a great address book. Mm -hmm. I mean, an address book, you know the address book. <laughs> it helps on our show. You know, we do everything on our show. We produce, we edit, we talk to the guests, and we do everything else. Make the coffee, we get the coffee from the machine. <laughs> we do, and it's rubbish. If you ever had BBC coffee, no caffeine, need a hit, it's not that. Don't bother. We were on Breakfast TV News recently doing a piece of women of a certain age in the high street. Why, we noticed and commented on were all the mannequins without wrinkles, without bingo wrinkles, without a spare tyre. I mean, really. Older women are just being ignored. We're always, in one way or another, fighting the corner for older women. Yeah, and you know the programme with Frank Skinner, where unwanted items are put into room 101. Well, we are making sure that older women, women of a certain age, are not put in room 101. Having said that, room 101 could be the coolest place to be. Yeah, I think we could make it quite a party, don't we? I'm sure we could get on my work so we could get going like this. Well, in our profile, to, in our effort to raise the profile of women uh, in media, when Libby interviewed Emily Van, and after all, we had wanted more women on banknotes, so we thought, what about us? What about us? We'd be great on banknotes, a couple of women. Yeah. Take a listen to us with Emily Van. So, one of the things you were talking about a while ago was about having women on our banknotes. We've got Jane Austen. Is that enough? We need more women on banknotes. We definitely need more. We can have some suffragettes, Emmeline Pankhurst. There are lots of people that we could 
have on, on Chrissy, radio. Chrissy, uh, Chrissy and I. Yeah, are you're interested. definitely candidate. I'm, I'm going to quote this. Candidate. I'm going to okay. mention that to the okay. to the new governor of the Bank of England that you're um, okay. you're up there. You're on, you're on, you're on the shortlist. So that was the right honourable Ed Miliband. Well, we might well have the bank notes. Yeah. 2014. Mm-hmm. Well, we're still waiting. We're still waiting. <laughs> you know, we'll have to fight for that. But then we think, is there a future for women of a certain age to continue in radio until they, we, have had enough? Mm. Think you need to make your mind up. For me, it's onwards and onwards till my brain stops working and my mouth stops speaking. And it doesn't really matter if your legs stop working, does it? Because we're always sitting down in the studio anyway. Come in a zoom <laughs> frame. Come in your, you know, your armchair. It's fine. Why stop? A good thing. I know we need to stop, and just before we stop, let's tell you about how we were challenged by conductor Charles Hazelwood of Radio 2 fame to a live, get us, rap, yeah, rap, slam competition. <laughs> Not only that, it was, it was judged by Adrian Upley of the supergroup Portishead. Anyway, we want to share the chorus with you. Two lines and we're off, because we get a okay. line off. We're women at a certain age. We've got hormonal rage. And we get hot. 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 And you know what? You. Get bothered. <laughs> <laughs>